Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Girls Pod. I'm your host, Noah Hammond, alongside with Matt Velez. Today we're talking to redshirt sophomore of the men's lacrosse team, William Duddy. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah, that. man. So uh, before we get started, man, tell us a little about yourself, Will. Uh, I'm a junior, redshirt sophomore, athletically. Uh, I'm from Seaside Park, New Jersey, and uh, playing lacrosse for a while. And uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, I do have a question because before we started, I actually don't know what does redshirt mean. Just remind me what that means. Oh yeah. So uh, it's just like basically I took a year off. Uh, you could either do medical or academic. It's like I did academic and he did medical. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I had no clue what that meant. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, so let's start off. Let's start from the beginning. Um, how did you get into lacrosse, though? I started playing in uh, kindergarten. Actually, I was five years old. I was playing soccer, and my mom gave me a choice. She said, "You can either play soccer or lacrosse," because I got a lot of siblings, so I could only pick one. So I picked lacrosse, and I never looked back since. I've been playing over 15 years now. So. A long time. Damn, over 15 years. How many, how, many, how many siblings do you have? Oh, I got seven siblings. Big seven family. siblings? Yeah, big family. Irish big family. family. Yeah. Irish family. And his brothers went here and played lacrosse. Yeah, my, my older brother Mike. Oh, okay, so is your family that played lacrosse as well? Yeah, he went here and played. Yeah. Okay, so do other, what do your other siblings play? Do they also all of them play lacrosse? Or? I think six out of eight are, uh, were college athletes. Um, probably five out of six were lacrosse. And then my older sister played soccer at Albright. So, yeah. Love it. Damn. Yeah. It's an athletic family. <laughs> That's an athletic family. I was going to say, I did. Um, now, I know you went to Donovan Catholic, um, and your dad is a coach there. Tell us a little about that, not going to the public school side. How was high school like for you? Uh, it was good. It was fun. I went to a small school, kind of similar to here. Mm -hmm. uh, teachers know your name. Obviously, my dad coached there for a while, so I knew everybody there. Um, probably, like, I think four of my siblings went there, too. Yeah. So, like... I got acclimated pretty quickly, and like same with here. Like my brother won here, so it's pretty similar, honestly. So yeah, my dad was a football coach for I think like thirty something years. Yeah. Damn, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, thirty years. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I know you mentioned about school, but CHC now. How has so far the CHC experience been for you? It's good. Like I said, I like it. It's small. Like people know your name, teachers know your name. It's not hard to get help from anybody, and. uh yeah, I mean, I love playing lacrosse here with my boys, and it's fun. Yeah, I like it. Great time. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about a little bit about last year. Um, coming off the ACL injury, um, you had 18 goals, 11 assists for, for 29 points. Um, you led all middies in points, even only after getting two starts. But you played all, all the games, but you only got two starts. Yeah. So how do we feel about that? Uh, I, like, I thank Coach DiCarlo for that because he knew I wasn't ready, really, in the beginning of the season to come back fully. Uh, he eased me in, and... Uh, I was blessed to get like a nice role on the team. Just uh, I played attack my whole life, and then he asked me to play midi, and I I committed to it, and I love midi now, and that's what I do now. And uh, luckily enough, my teammates set me up for some goals, and yeah, it was a fun season. I ended crazy. up with 30, yeah. 30 points. So. Yeah. Wow, wow! And a cat yeah. championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, you guys, you guys win a lot. I mean, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you your flyers when yeah. it's due. You guys, you guys do win a lot. And I mean, aside. Even if it is a championship, I want to ask you, what, what is your favorite part of CHC? Probably lacrosse, yeah. Like, just because as soon as you show up, you got best friends immediately. So that's a cool part of it, and that's probably my, probably my favorite. So you get acquainted pretty fast with the, with the yeah. guys and yeah. kind of like family in that yeah. sense, yeah. and where you just suit in? Even before I came here, uh, we play a tournament in the summer. So we got to meet like some of the upperclassmen before even we were friends. Oh, before, yeah. before you even got here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Summer, summer tournament. Yeah, yeah. Water Bucks, it's like a... Brings us all down in Delaware and stuff like that. And it's a cool event. Oh, no kidding. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no. Um, so let's talk about, I know you've been through a lot. We talked about the ACL. Um, ha, like, how much adversity have you faced? You've been an injured guy. Like, yeah. what has gone on in your life? Like, what adversity um, have you faced? Yeah, I think it started my sophomore year. I got surgery on my both my groins. Uh, and then, like, that, I played on that for, like, a year. And then, I, like, uh, I ended up hurting my hips even worse. So I got surgery on that. So that took a while to bounce back, and I was lucky enough to get a, a scholarship here, even from battling injury. And then when I was a freshman, I think it was like March 20th, I tore my ACL. Uh, yeah, it was it was hard because like I was just getting used to playing here. Like it's college is a whole different game, so I was just getting used to playing, and then that happened. But I was able to bounce back, like I said, and then played last year and we had a good year. So. Yeah, it's definitely learn a lot about yourself when you get injured. You said it happened on March 20th? Yeah, March, yeah, March, yeah. yeah my freshman year. Yeah, that's, that's, like that's, close that's today. When it happened. Yeah. That's today. I heard it, yeah. Is that today? Yeah, March 20th is today. <laughs> yeah, that's so how many years would that, would that be? Would that one? 
Yeah, I'm a yeah. junior now. Yeah. I have him freshman year. So, so two years. Wow, yeah. damn. The, funny, the crazy thing is it happened right in front of me. Like, he Seriously? was coming straight at me. Like, yeah. I heard it and everything. It was oh. a crazy experience. Yeah, you, you, I, I've, I've never had it. Like, I've never seen it. I just broke. It. It's like one of the saddest experiences. Well, how ironic is that? It's, it's, it's I, I just think because a lot of people, especially on this campus, a lot of people are hurting their knees. Yeah, yeah. two or cross girls just happened. Yeah. Have had them. I remember. Yeah, I remember yeah. you told me that earlier yeah, today. Yeah, it does. Damn. So, I mean, uh, it sounds like you're all about lacrosse, but I want to ask you, what is, what's your favorite part? Like, what is your favorite part about lacrosse and playing the sport? I think just what you learn about yourself. Like I said, like, me getting injured so much at the time stinks, but you do learn a lot about yourself. Like, like and then, like, just being able to, like, be a student athlete is going to help me in the future, obviously. Like, just being able to schedule your days and, like, like getting through Going, ugh, getting through the adversity and like that's just like gonna help you in the long run. So 100%. that's probably like main thing I'm trying to pull out of this experience. Yeah. Well, I'm curious to know what is what, what is one or two things that you learned about yourself while while yeah, playing the sport. Just like who I am. Like I never gave up. Like a lot of people would quit. So that's something I like keep in my pocket at all times. Like that little chip on my shoulder, I guess. Like um, just. You being able to put in the work and not seeing the results for a little bit and like getting through that hump of like not being able to play but sticking to like the team and then like coming back like that whole like loop is like super cool to like be a part of it's mentally challenging yeah, yeah. to have a yeah, strength perseverance that kind of thing and to be able to stick with it be consistent you know knowing there's not going to be results for a while and eventually you do see results and you're there where you want to be so i get that absolutely <laughs> before we move on to uh, this year I want to talk about how you turned it up in the CAC, uh, CAC playoffs last year. Um, you yeah. made the all-tournament team. We yeah. won. Um, you had a great, great couple of games. How did, how did that feel after coming back from the injury and really turning up and really helping us win that? How, uh, how did that feel? I mean, it was bittersweet because uh, at the time, Jazzy got hurt, and uh, he's a great player, and he was our main midi at the time. And... Um, I mean, I kind of just did it for him. He got hurt. He went down. I knew I know what it feels like for that to happen. And then, um, yeah, coach told me I got to step up. He put me in a role to start those two games. And, I mean, just tried my best. You know, I went out there. I just gave it my all. And um, it was cool because, like, Georgian Court, like, their coach kind of told Chestnut Hills coach not to recruit me here. Yeah. Like, because he knew me. And I was hurt. So, he like, didn't think I was that good. And then, like, it was, like, full circle. I got to play him. I had three goals against him. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's cool. That's that's a that's a good story. That's a good story. My brother called me that morning. He was like, "Dude, you got to take it to him," because like my brother knew the whole story. And you know what's even crazier about like the thing is like he he started two games last year. Like I said earlier, he started yeah. two games. Right. And they were both in the playoffs. Yeah. Which is nuts. He played and he played amazing. Oh, your only two games were playoff games. Two starts. Two yeah. starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you turned up. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. All my everybody wow. turned up, man. It was it was a good time. Yeah. Everybody was helping each other, getting assists, moving the ball. It was it was fun. It was a good. Uh, my first experience being actually in the championships, so yeah. So it. this year so far, um, you guys are three and three. Um, you got five five goals, six assists, eleven points. Um, what's one thing you really want to work on going forward in this season? Um, maybe just. I mean, I think we're doing a good job right now. We're sharing the ball a lot. Um, I think against Dominican, we had ten different goal scorers. And, and last night. And last night, yep. ten different goal scorers. I think that's something you should really focus on like everybody getting theirs and like sharing the ball a lot and I think we've been doing a really good job of that uh obviously our defense is locked down Jules Serino is locked down uh Goalie our Fogos have been doing great Berg Sauce, sauce. so it's, it's been team efforts and I hope we can keep it going forward and like like I said I mean I'll keep working on myself I, I know everybody else will so that's all you can do yeah man and um, just just the last question to sort of wrap it up so what is the relationship with your teammates oh it's awesome like like I said, as soon as I showed up, you had best friends right away. Um, we all live, off, well, not all of us, but a lot of us live off campus. So we like go see each other at our houses and hang out. And um, we're always talking to each other. We got a group chats and we're always talking and hanging out after games and before practices and getting extra work together. So Both it's cool. Brothers. Yeah, brother. Yeah. It's like, a, it's a brotherhood for sure. Like we always break down one, two, three family. And like, we mean it. Like definitely feel like I got a family, second family. 100%. That's awesome, man. It seems like a really well-rounded team, man. Yeah, yeah, no. That's awesome. I love that. Um, well, thank you, Seven, for coming on. Um, follow Duddy on Instagram. He'll be tagged. Thank you guys for tuning in for another episode. Thanks, guys. Of course. Thank you, guys.